Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bronze Age Minecraft, a series where we set out to recreate the Bronze Age settlements of ancient Greece. My name is Daskalos, and I'm a professional archaeologist and certified interpretive guide. And today we are going to work on getting this island prepared for our next build. I'm also going to let you know what settlement we're looking to build in this place, and it's a big one. But we have a bunch of work to get done first, including terraforming. <laughs> That's right, I'm going to do that in the beginning to get it out of the way. But first you may notice that my levels are gone, and no that's not from enchanting, and it's definitely not because I got distracted by a spider and ambushed by a creeper while putting torches all over the island and ended up respawning back in our episode 1 Epsidal house. It's doing fine by the way. No, no that's not it at all. Anyways, let's get started. Now first thing we gotta do is take down all the trees, and I'm gonna save a bunch of the saplings because I really like the acacia trees in this game, and I'm gonna be using them for roof tiles because of their orange color. I think it'll look really good. Matter of fact, I think I could say that the savanna biome is probably one of my most favorite biomes in this entire game. So let me show you the layout that I'm thinking. So here is an overhead shot of the island as it sits right now. And I think right smack dab in the middle of the island, we're gonna build up a hill to put the palatial complex on. Now what palace may be going there, you may ask? Well, it's gonna be Nestor's palace, the settlement of Pylos, or Sandy Pylos as Homer calls it. But what's a palace without its town? That will also be built, and I'm thinking about putting it right about here in the location of the existing town, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of terraforming there too and bring some of the ground down to the beach. But what's a town and a palace without its infrastructure and food and, and all that? And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just establish some fields in these areas for food stuff and grazing lands and all that. But enough of all that. Let's check out the floor plan of the palace. Spoiler warning, if you want to be surprised, fast forward to this timestamp in the video. Otherwise, let's get into this. All right, let's just move that out of the way. This is the palace floor plan. All right, eh, there we are. All right, so here it is. I got a ground floor and a second floor. But wait, there is more. Yeah. So I've got buildings off to either side of it. And I'll show you how this lines up real quick so you can get an idea. Hold on. Eh, oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Eh, okay, all right. So it lines up about like that. So you can see that off to the off to the left there. And then the right side lines up a little bit different. It's about like well, uh, all right, about like that. And then this top one up here in the corner is gonna be about like that. Yeah. Wine storage, by the way. Anyways. That is the whole complex right there. And we'll go over what these different rooms are when we get to building. Anyways, back to cutting down trees.
all right, now that the island is relatively treeless, why don't you follow me out this way? I want to show you some things. Alright, so those trees and those cliffs over there, I think I'm just going to leave the way that they are. It's kind of cool looking and sort of adds to the whole ambiance of the whole thing. So, yeah, I think they're fine. They're probably going to stay. But this over here, right about this general area that I'm walking up to right now, this is going to be where we're going to build the hill. So this little indentation in the island, we're going to sort of flatten that out and maybe take this hill down over here the big thing though well the big thing is gonna be this hole here we're gonna need to fill in this hole hear that sheep he, he ain't paying attention that's right it's fine anyways but first things first we got to build a little hut Now don't expect anything grandiose or aesthetically pleasing with this. This is just a storehouse and a spot for me to sleep. Did I say not aesthetically pleasing? Well, okay, maybe, maybe a little, just in some spots, but not, not everywhere. I just can't help myself. So there you have it, my interpretation of everybody's first Minecraft house. You know it's true. It's square. It's ugly. It's small. It's what mine looked like. Actually, that's not true. Mine, mine was actually made out of dirt, not out of stone. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So there you have it. Here is my little construction house that I'm going to use to store some of the stuff that I need to terraform. So next episode, I think what we're going to do is do a little bit of terraforming of the hill in the middle and maybe take down some of the village behind me. Well, the terrain, not the village itself. The village itself will stay for a while. The terrain will come down. But I think I'm going to wrap it up. So until next time, I'll see you then.